Welcome to the DirectCaster video training series where we show users how to use various aspects of the DirectCaster software. In this training video, we are going to go over how to use the video menu item on the left hand navigation bar. Once you click the video item, you will see that there's two sub menu items that fall underneath. One of them is Add New Video, the other is View All Videos. Let's go over the Add New Video first. So once you've clicked the Add New Video, you will notice that there is a basic and an advanced section. Make sure most of our users will want to make sure they only fill out the information in the basic section. If you have been expressly told by DirectCaster that you should use the advanced section, then go ahead and use it and fill in the information. Otherwise, you would want to leave this information here blank. In the basic section, you will need to put a name, description, the link to your streaming video file, an ID if this is a Vimeo hosted video, you'll want to put the Vimeo ID here, the length of the video, the release date, the format, whether you're MP4, you're streaming, HLS, or your MOV, which is a Mac movie file. You want to put the quality, usually I leave that at high definition. You want to select the primary category for the video. You also want to put episode information and any recommended age. Along with you want to select the various different categories that the video falls under. You can select as many as you would like. You will also want to select and upload a video image. You can select the image from here, from your hard drive, and upload it, and the image will come into the system. Once you are done, go down and hit the Save button. The second menu item you'll notice is the View All Videos item. In this section, you will notice that we have a Select Category menu. By changing the category in this area, you can see all the videos that fall under each category. You would likewise be able to take and either delete the video by using the Delete button or edit the video, which takes you back to the same Edit Video Editor. You can use this system to manage all your videos within the DirectCaster software.